This video provides a high level overview of how to protect, license, and sell an Electron app for Mac or Windows. Electron is a development environment that uses web technologies like HTML, style sheets, or JavaScript to construct your app. But the beauty of it is the end result can provide a standalone application that uses native characteristics of the OS. So to construct this application, we ran a popular tutorial from the Electron website where it goes through the process of how to download and install the, uh, the uh, Node.js, the Electron uh, framework, and set up and test your app. And then once you have a working app, how to wrap that into a completed application on Mac or Windows. So if we scroll down towards the bottom of this screen, we see uh, a command that we can use to act actually wrap our finished application into a standalone application file. And we're going to go ahead and do that now from the terminal window. So if we open up the terminal window and let's change our directory to this folder that contains our application files. And we can run the command, the make command that actually generates the finished application. So when this command completes, we'll see the finished application in this output folder. And we've done this on a Mac and it's building this Mac application. Now let's apply licensing to our application. We're going to do that with the App Protect application. And once we've created our licensed version of the application, which we'll put into this installer source folder, we'll then use click install to build a code side installer for our application. We can do this for both Mac and Windows. And on Mac, click install has one additional capability, and that is where it can electronically send that finished installer to Apple uh, to have it notarized. And that's a, a new process that Apple has introduced to uh, secure uh, applications and ensure they're safe for anyone with a new Mac to download onto their computer. So we'll start with App Protect. We have a screen already set up where we have selected the application that we want to uh, wrap into a licensed version of the application and an output folder where we're going to put it. And we can also apply a custom icon if we want. We're just going to go with the default that's already assigned to that application. We can choose what type of binary we, we want to generate. Uh, we can go with an Intel 64-bit, an ARM 64-bit, or a universal binary that runs on both natively on both uh, Intel or Apple Silicon computers. We're going to go with these options and just click the build button. And at the end of the build process, we'll have our licensed application in this installer source folder. So if we close this window and go to the installer source folder, we see our licensed application there. And let's rename it to the name that we want to use once it finally gets installed on the customer's computer. In this installer source folder, we have our application, but we could also include other files like a PDF user guide or other support files that we want to provide to the user during the install process. In this example, we're just going to provide just the simple application itself. And we're going to be using click install to wrap that now into our finished installer that will go into the installer output folder. We've already got our uh, main click install window set up to build this installer where we've selected the path to the installer source folder where we want to put the finished installer, the uh, output folder name that's going to be created 
under applications on the user's computer where the file will be uh, ultimately located and then the name of the installer uh, setup file that we're going to construct we can also have background images uh, icons and other stuff that we're going to put on the install screen and there are a lot of other options you can set up as well for example we can have a license agreement set up and we can just uh, go with the uh, the default agreement here and and look at it and you'll see what it's going to look like or if you know uh, a little bit about HTML you can kind of customize that agreement so once we have everything set up uh, we'll have an installer that will get code signed during the build process and we've done that from the code sign panel we've uh, we have a link to our certificate. In this case, we're doing this on a Mac, so we have an Apple developer account. We've constru uh, constructed a code sign certificate and put it on our computer and linked to it here. And then we've also selected the application itself. So not only will our application be code signed, but also the finished installer will be code signed. And there is a set of instructions on this panel of how to get your certificate. Uh, from your Apple developer account. We also, on the post install copy, we've uh, decided to change our installer a bit. Normally, uh, when it installs onto the applications folder of the customer computer, it puts all the files into a folder. Now, since we only have just the application file, we've run a couple of post-install actions that essentially take and copy out that installed application out directly to the applications folder and then delete the actual folder structure. So at the end of this install process, rather than a folder containing our application, we'll just have the application file itself in the, uh, in the applications folder. And finally, we can use the notarization tab so that once we built and tested our installer, we can then go to the notarization tab, click a button, and send it up to Apple for to electronically notarize our finished installer. Now, some of the details of this process are covered in a separate video. And so if you go to the Excel software website, go to the videos page and under install, you'll see a video specifically how to set up a code signed installer on Mac and how to notarize it with Apple. And there's also a video on how to set up a click install on a Windows computer. So let's go ahead and build our installer and again, we have the option of our finished installer can be a 64-bit Intel binary, a 64-bit ARM binary for the new Apple Silicon computers, or a universal binary that runs uh, native on either platform. We're just going to go with this option that we have set here. We'll click the Build button, and it's going through the build process now. And at the end of this process, we'll have a finished installer in our installer output folder. In our installer output folder we see our finished installer. On a Windows environment you could just upload this installer to your website, put a link on your download page, and when the user clicks the link uh, they'll be able to download and run the installer to install the software onto their computer. On Mac the situation is a bit different since most web servers don't support Mac application files directly. Click install has also output a zipped copy of that same file. So instead, you'll upload this to your website, put a link to it, and when your customer uses Safari, clicks on the link, it'll get downloaded into the downloads folder and automatically unzipped. So then they'll have the installer ready to go. So let's go ahead and run this installer. When we double click on the installer, we see an install screen pops up and this can be further customized with icons and other text and such. But if we click the install button, 
we see a license agreement and then it's starting the install process now. This will take a few moments and at the end of the install process we're going to have our finished application in the applications folder and our installer window uh, goes away. So now we've completed the install process. If we would go ahead and double click the application, it will launch and the first thing the user is going to see is an inner password dialog. And that's because we've applied licensing to our application with AppProtect. In this example, we've applied an offline activation process, meaning that on first launch on the customer machine, a unique password number is displayed and the customer must provide that password number to the developer and the developer will return the unique password required to activate this application to their specific computer. So on the developer's computer, they'll launch the AppProtect application put in that password number, click the password button, and there is the unique password required for this specific computer. So let's go ahead and put that into the field. We'll close this window. So when the customer clicks OK, the application is activated and launched, and from now on it will run forever on this computer without presenting a dialog again. Now let's demonstrate a more automated online serial number activation process. To accomplish this, in addition to our protection tool and uh, installer, we also have to have an online activation server and we're using an account on the Safe Activation Service to do this. If we take a, a look at that, Safe Activation is an online service where you're going to follow a tutorial and set up a few screens of information. And on one of those screens, you'll be generating a batch of serial numbers. And we've already done that. Here we can see a list of serial numbers. And we have this set up to, so these serial numbers will automatically activate that application. We also need to do a few things in our App Protect. We need to set this serial number checkbox and put a URL that was generated to this automated uh, activation page when we set up those screens of information in the safe activation account. Once we done, have done that, we'll click build and rebuild our application and we have our finished uh, application in this folder and then we can rebuild the installer the same way for distributing that licensed application to a customer. Let's talk about the process of actually delivering a serial number to the customer when they make a purchase. There are many ways of doing this and within your safe activation account we have pre-integrated with lots of different online purchase processes and let me just show you two of the more popular approaches. We've uh, have that shown in a separate video. So if you go to the safe activation panel under the videos page on the Excel software site, you'll see there is a sell with a PayPal buy button and that describes the process of how you can create a simple buy button with a PayPal account, put the buy button on a page of your website and then link your PayPal account to your safe activation account. So the way it works from a customer's point of view is they'll be on your website reading about your product. They can click the buy button, enter their credit card information. They'll be taken to a download page where it says, thanks for your order. We sent you an email with the serial number used for activation. And here's a link to download the software. So they can just download enter the serial number and activate. This whole process of making a purchase, receiving a serial number, downloading the software and activating can all occur without your assistance at 3 o'clock in the morning. You can do the same thing if you want to use Stripe to process your payments. So there's also a video on this uh, on the same location on in, in the Excel software website for setting up a Stripe account uh, and creating buy buttons that are uh, automatically processed 
with your safe activation account. So let's go ahead and look at what the process, how the process actually works from a customer's point of view. So when the customer launches your application, they're going to be presented with a enter serial number dialog. And they have already received a serial number through this automated process. So the customer is simply going to enter the serial number into the field, click activate now. And now the application is activated. And from now on, whenever they launch the application, it just launches without presenting that screen again. So far in this video, we've taken a look at the Electron development environment where you use web-based technologies to construct an application. That application can then be wrapped into a standalone Mac desktop application or Windows desktop application. We've also looked at how we can take that application and wrap it into a licensed application with AppProtect. And we've done that for both offline activation as well as online serial number activation by combining AppProtect together with a safe activation account. Finally, we've used the click install tool to build a code signed installer for our application. And we can do this for both Mac and Windows computer. One added advantage of click install on the Mac side, you can actually electronically send that finished installer to Apple for notarization. Now, with the license that we've looked at so far, it's a simple product license. So once activated, it runs forever. If you need some uh, more flexible licensing options, you might want to consider getting Quick License instead of AppProtect. So with Quick License, when you install it on your computer, you'll have a couple of applications. The Quick License application allows you to define the specific details of a specific type of license. For example, you can create a time-limited trial license where the user can launch and, and use the license for X number of days or Y number of, of launches before it expires. You can create a product license just like AppProtect. However, it has the added advantage that there's a method where the license can be securely moved between computers. So if the customer buys a new machine, they can move the machine from the old computer to the new computer, and now it's blocked from running on the old computer. You can also have a try-by license where a user can try for a while and then permanently buy and activate the software, or a subscription license where the user pays you a monthly or annual fee to use your software. So you have a lot more flexibility in terms of licensing. Quick License works with offline activation, online serial number activation, or even a USB dongle-based licensing process. And Quick License the finished application that you put in your installer source folder, you'll build into an installer with click install the same way and the purchase process uh, for how you want to sell the application through an aut aut automated purchase process if you choose. That all works the same way uh, using a safe activation account and a payment processor like Stripe, PayPal, or some others.